Welcome back to my channel, Slim and Stories. I am Claire Alden West. Thanks for joining me. And I just wanted to just pop by and just do a, a quick, a quick check in with you from from last week. I wanted to do this channel just for accountability. And yeah, I've had a really, really busy week. I'm due to go to Spain on Saturday, so this was a really busy week. And before I stepped on the scales yesterday, I knew that I was carrying water weight, whatever you want to call it, um, latest time of the month, so I knew that I was bloated, I felt bigger, um, and I did that thing where I weighed midweek, and I could see the loss, I went down the, into the next stone, and then put like three and a half pound on over, over two days, and this is what I was explaining in the last, in the last recording, is that I, I know, I understand that's like biology, I can't do anything about that, I can't do anything about that, so, um, bearing all this in mind and then knowing that I was going to go on holiday, knowing that I'd be getting into that, that swimsuit, that bikini, and then wondering, do I want to get weighed? Do I want to see on my second week that, that plus sign? So when I went to group yesterday to get weighed, I was, I was all set for like a three, a three pound gain to be fair. But I also knew that when we're on this journey, when, we, when we're going to Slimming World, when we're looking at losing weight, we can't just stop because that, that scale doesn't give you that figure that you really want. Obviously, we all want to lose weight. We all want to see that, that number going down. But, you know, the reality is that as a woman, you carry water, don't you, when you're on your period. So, so I went in and I just thought, you know what, let's just do it. So I got weighed and I stayed to group and the results are in. <laughs> There's a book. So you can see, um, just put half a pound on. That was it. <laughs> I was so happy with that. And yeah, I mean, why would I not be? You know, half a pound is absolutely nothing. And that shows that I've lost weight because generally I would put more, more on at the time of the month. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, afterwards, I went to the shops. I bought a new top from Next. And it's... Um, yeah, it's like a strapless one and I just thought you know what, I'm going to wear that I'm going to feel comfortable in it and I'm around I think just over I think I've lost just over a stone now that's more than a stone don't know the figures but I've definitely lost more than over a stone since October and I do feel better and I'm, I'm really excited to, to go on holiday and what I've decided to do I bought a selfie stick <laughs> down the kids I bought a selfie stick and I thought what I'm going to do I'm going to document the food that I eat because I'm not in that mentality where I'm going to go away. I'm just going to like blow it out of the water. I'm like going to be drinking the cocktails and the what, you know, I just don't feel in that, that mindset. I feel that I'm going to go away. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to take myself off social media for a while, um, turn off my emails and I'm going to relax and listen to some music. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to listen to some music. I love music. Probably some podcasts as well. And I'm going to relax and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy the food. I'm not in that mindset of I'm going to go away. I'm just going to go like a free for all. And this is a, the first holiday in a long, long time. And there's my mum. <laughs> there's my mum. One moment. I'm breathing. <laughs> so I'm not in that mindset where I'm going to just blow it out of the water. And this is the first holiday in a long, long time where it's not all inclusive. Um, and I managed it all inclusive in Lanzarote at Easter time where I didn't like have like loads of food, didn't have any uh, sugary food. So anybody that's new to this channel will know that I've not eaten cake, chocolate, sweets right from November. Had out with hypnosis and I'm helping other people beat their cravings too. So I've not had any of that. So there's, there's none of that having the, the sweets for the car journey. There's none of that. Um, you know, when I'm at the airport, just getting that sweet treat, there's none of that that's going to interfere with my, with my weight loss and where I want to be on this holiday. So that was my mum. So just to put this into perspective, I've had a busy week. So I looked after my dad earlier in the week because my mum took some time away with her sisters. And then today she's got a scan because um, she's got a bleed on the brain. She had a mini stroke last year. And we're finding out what's happened with that scan, if it's gone any further. So... Yeah, it, it's life and I'm just, the reason I'm telling you this is because don't think that, you know, when you go to these groups that people are just having a straightforward week, it's, it's, you know, life happens, doesn't it? And we have to 
take in those emotions of these things that happen but also just take time for ourselves and, and to commit to where we want to be this time next year I want to be going away I want to feel really healthy in my body I do feel fitter I do feel a lot fitter and you know what this last two weeks I've just listened to a, another vlog and I can't remember the lady's name and she mentioned this too that this last two weeks I felt better in myself I felt better in myself so this is a really 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 quick um check in and my mum was already asking me where I am so um I want to get there early because I don't want her to panic and um yeah emotional eating is a big thing isn't it but I don't feel that I'm having to do that because I'm not I'm not reaching for that that sweet food that chocolate or anything like that so if you've come over from the podcast and you've come to listen to me on YouTube hi <laughs> this is me and if you've not listened to the podcast episodes there's loads on there loads of inspirational stories you'll hear me talking about my journey you'll hear lots of inspirational people talking about their journeys too a lot of them on Slimming World Weight Watchers and if you click on the link below there will be a new podcast episode which will be my episode talking how it was to show up on on youtube and do this <laughs> what i needed to do be off, to be able to record this vlog um so i'm going away and it's three nights you know it's not a lifetime with that intention that i'm going to enjoy it i'm going to enjoy it i'm definitely not going to go without i'm going to add that taste of food but i'm not going with that um I don't know, like that Christmas day intention of just having as much as I can eat within such a short space of time. I'm not going with that intention. It's going to be really hot in the UK. I've got a really bright, really bright living room today and it's, it's beautiful. Um, so I know everyone's going to be nice and warm there too. Um, my husband tans really well. So I think I'm going to be <laughs> trying to find some shade for this uh, paste of skin. Um, so have a great week ahead. Let me know how you've got on. You know, I'd love to hear how you've gone with your week, um, hear about your losses, your wins, those things that you found challenging, you know, all of that's relatable, isn't it? Um, so have a great week ahead and take care.